Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And yes, I have lost my voice. The Christmas craze has gotten to me, but I'm still rolling out the unboxing videos for all of you. I hope that you are all staying well and safe and also having a wonderful time this holiday season. I hope that part of your holiday season is including my Adventures with Noelle series, which posts every day, December 1st through the 25th, where we are opening up six different advent pods boxes day by day. It's been so much fun so far. Bar, and I hope that you will join us for the little fun multiple choice quiz towards the end where you can win some fabulous prizes. But today I have one of, I think, the coolest kind of unknown quarterly lifestyle boxes out there that's put out by Sunset Magazine, which has been around for over a hundred years. It's pretty impressive, you guys. It is the Sunset Best of the West box, and they have sent it to me for review. They have two different sizes, so it always comes in a different size box, just depending on the goodies that that are inside. Usually I get it kind of towards the end of the season, so I honestly wasn't expecting this winter box until like January, but I kind of took a quick peek at the product card and it looks like there are some holiday items in there, so maybe they sort of fast-tracked it to me and I'm so excited. So let me give you all of the details. So the standard box has four to eight products and that is $69.99 per quarter. I actually think that is a smoking deal. And then the premium, which is what they send me, has seven to 12 products, so kind of a big variation, but honestly, it's not like there are a whole two different sets of items. The premium boxes have everything that's in the standard boxes. Doesn't just mean it's like the smaller items that are in the standard boxes they still get some of the kind of hero items in there and then they you know in the premium boxes we get a few more items so but there is a pretty big price jump i will say it's more than twice as much because the premium box is 149.99 per quarter but if you do the annual you actually save like $15 per box it brings it down to 135 a box and then i think if you do the standard and you do the annual you save $10 per box but either way whether you do quarterly or you do annual for that extra savings i do have a code that'll save you 25% which again, makes it a really, really good deal. So that code is Maui Noel 25 It's a little bit of a longer code, but I'll leave it for you in the description box below. It's not an affiliate code or anything. It's just a way for you guys to save, but I really find awesome products from different companies all along the West Coast, including Hawaii. That's included in the like Western states. And you don't have to be from a Western state to enjoy this box, you guys. We get all kinds of stuff, garden gear, kitchen stuff, um, edible treats, and it's just really, really fun. But they always include on their product card, and they also do an exclusive jigsaw puzzle, or it's at least the exclusive release of a jigsaw puzzle. So if you're a jigsaw person, or you have a jigsaw person in your life, and you like vintage magazine covers, like, if you like both, then you're set with this box. If you like one or the other, you might want to consider it. So this time around, we have one from, it doesn't say the year... But if it does match, so sometimes the product card will actually match the jigsaw puzzle and sometimes they're different. The West's Great National Magazine. It is the December cover. So what's cool is the old covers actually used to be artwork, right? I think that's awesome. So if it is, it looks like it's from the 1923 edition. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So it says, holidays in the West sunset style are rich in beauty, flavor, and history with a touch of the artisanal and the botanical. With those principles in mind, the editors have curated this premium edition of the sunset box with products from the West and beyond that will make your holiday all the more festive and delicious. You'll find citrus that can garnish a drink or decorate a tree, the most stunning snack we've ever seen, iconic barware, and other celebratory products and gifts that will guarantee a season to savor and remember. I think that's awesome. She looks so festive and fun in her like head wrap. All right. Those are snowshoes. That's pretty crazy. I've only gone snowshoeing once and I actually had a great time. It was in Taos. All right. So sometimes like Taos would definitely be a city that we would get items from. Okay. So it looks like we didn't get any of their orange shred, which I'm happy about because that stuff gets everywhere. This box is just packed nice and full. I'm loving that. And I also love that they kind of, it sounds like they made a card specifically for the premium edition, but let me just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products. One of them is going to be that jigsaw puzzle. I'm not a jigsaw person, so I usually give them away or they're in my mystery boxes, but 
I like them and I think it's really cool that it's not just like a print of the magazine cover. I thought the last one that had a bunch of magazine covers was honestly really cool just because I'm a fan of Sunset Magazine, but let me just take a sip of my tea. All right, you guys. Yeah, I know. It's, that's what happens when when you post every day and when you post twice a day during Vlogmas, you're going to get me at my finest. I apologize. This is from the Perfect Garnish Company. We make your drinks look amazing. Well, can you make me look amazing too? It says, skillfully hand sliced, always perfect. Ooh, we got some dried oranges. This has been kind of a popular thing. I think I've gotten this in a couple of boxes, including you given a box, different companies. So dried orange slices. It says, dehydrated citrus wheels are a gorgeous gem-like product that can, yes, garnish cocktails, but also can be crumbled into hearty winter salads to add crunch and concentrated sweet tart flavor. DIY decorators can string them into garlands or fashion easy Christmas tree ornaments. So true. I think you can also put them on baked goods, like as like part of a glaze that looks really pretty um and then i think you can also um i think it'd be really pretty as a garland honestly if you're kind of crafty or if you're like making some dried wreaths those would be really lovely so and it looks like we got a lot of them it says our mission is not just to create garnishes but to craft works of art that significantly enhance your cocktail or mocktail experience at our company each garnish is hand sliced by our skilled artisans then meticulously inspected to meet our high quality standards we believe in the importance of the fine details and each piece we create is a testament to our commitment to excellence i love that there's a whole nother paragraph but i feel like we should get to the other eight products in here right okay Ooh, is this a candle is this a candle which I see before me? The wick toward my hand? A little Shakespeare for you. Uh, let's see. Enlighten. Oh, yeah. Orange Blossom. Here we go with the orange theme. Sunset's always got an orange theme. All right. I'm glad they didn't do the orange shred. shred. It said double scent formula. Phthalate-free fragrance and essential oil blends. Cotton wicks. 100% pure soy wax. Dye and additive free. Hand poured in Arizona. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. That's like, <laughs> I feel the vitamin C flowing into my veins through the candle. Mmm, that smells so good. So, it says, handmade near the Prescott Mountains in Arizona, this soy candle is in its sleek metal tin is infused with essential oils of bergamot, jasmine, orange, and sandalwood, and will bring instant cozy vibes to your open house or make a perfect gift. I'm not giving this away. This is so nice. Top notes. Pe petit grain bergamot and then like they said jasmine roly orange blossom base notes of sandalwood Ooh, it's so good it's like it really smells like oranges it really smells like orange blossom very nice we got a candle you know we love that and from Prescott this is from Koyuchi <laughs> your your Yuchi's Koi too says this <laughs> I promise I'm not on like cold medicine or anything. This bag was made from recycled plastic. All right, what sort of fabric thing is this, do you think? What, what are we guessing that it is? It is fringe stripe organic na napkin set of four. They are 20 by 20. All right, so we got some linens. I feel like this is like a West Coast Christmas market in a box. That would be cool. I'm surprised more boxes don't do like a Christmas market vibe. Like. How, how many of you, show of hands, I mean, show of comments, how many of you want to go to a Christmas market in Europe and do the whole Christmas market thing and have your glow wine and all those goodies? Oh, look, they're individually wrapped. Can I just, can I just put these out on the table like this? They're so cute. So I'll show them up to you a little bit closer. So you can see they have these nice stitch stripes in varying colors. So there's like light blue, darker blue, and more of a taupe running through. And then they have this rough edge fringe super cute let's see what it says about these i'm just gonna hold it up to you i don't know if i open them up well you guys always like me to open them up don't you all right fine i'll open them up founded in 1991 in point reyes station i've been there too california Koyuchi is a pioneering producer of organic high-end bedding and textiles these exquisitely soft napkins crafted with an eyelash fringe i was like with an eyelash with an eyelash fringe. Gotta be careful of those line breaks, you guys. It says, are made from organically and sustainably grown cotton from small farms and pair perfectly with chic stoneware and other natural table settings. I think they're really cool. I love that fabric. I'd love a dress in that fabric, honestly. It is really soft. And I think it's kind of nice because when you have napkins that are like this soft material, they don't have to be like perfectly pressed. Like you can put them up and they can be like a little bit wrinkly. But yeah, really cute for like, 
you're sort of, and this is year round, this is not very holiday, but like outdoor dining, that's really cute. And it's a nice size, right? Like that was it in quarters. So 20 by 20, that's pretty big. All right, let's see what else we've got. And then it's going to bother me until I roll it up and tie it back up in a bow, you guys. That's, that's how I am. All right, let's see. Ooh, it wanted to fall off my desk. Try not to do that. Something wrapped up in a glass bottle. I will say they do send us some nice... Um, items for the kitchen. I'm like, where does this open? You guys, I'm having issues today. Ooh. And I'm popping, popping all the little bubbles. It's fun. Stress relief. All right, let's see. Ooh, Sonoma Syrup Company Peppermint Simple Syrup for hot chocolate. Oh, that's a great idea. Seltzer water or cocktails. So you can make a nice peppermint like Italian soda. You could just put a splash of that in your hot chocolate. That sounds amazing. Or you can make like a, you know, not peppermint schnapps, but ooh, you could add a little to your chocolate martini or your espresso martini. That would be really good. Okay, let's see. What does it say? Getting ahead of myself. Based in Northern California, Sonoma Syrup Company is the country's premier producer of simple syrups infused with the bounty of the West. From peppermint to pomegranate, ooh, to white ginger and more, add instant flavor to teas, sodas, cocktails, glazed vegetables, ooh, glazed vegetables and meats, not the peppermint so much, but other flavors, enhance pancakes and boost baked goods. Well, I get that they sent us the peppermint for the holidays, but man, some of those other flavors like pomegranate would be great for the holidays, but also year round, white ginger, Ooh, that sounds so good for like, especially your cocktails, but like on glazed vegetables and meats, like I bet a ginger syrup would be freaking amazing. All right, we got more. This is a company that has been in Sunset Box quite a bit and I love the stuff that they send us. So it's from Jacobson Company. It's their salty, oh my gosh, salty chocolate caramels. It says chocolatey caramel with sparks of sea salt. So we've just gotten like the Jacobson sea salt before, which is awesome. It's like a really like nice rough texture. It's been great. I used it on my Brussels sprouts this year for um, Thanksgiving. This, this looks good, you guys. Made with organic sugar, heavy cream, and sea salt, hand harvested off the Oregon coast. So we've had Arizona, California, Oregon. Uh, these chocolatey, briny caramels are melt in your mouth, smooth and creamy, and the ideal holiday hostess gift or stocking stuffer. They keep suggesting to give these things away, and I'm like, no, these are mine. This candle is mine. This, uh, these uh, delicious caramels are mine. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm being a little greedy. Ooh, look. Mm. Mm -hmm. They look like um, saltwater taffy, but I bet they're awesome. And I love that they gave us this giant box of them. Let's see. Harvested from the cold, pristine waters of Natarts Bay off on the Oregon coast, our pure sea salt gets its bright salinity and delicate crunch from a slow evaporation process that yields pure, naturally formed salt crystals. Ooh, unwrapping and placing a caramel in your mouth has the same slow time feel as letting a piece of chocolate dissolve on your tongue. I'm, I'm so down for all of that. I'm, yes, let's do it. What else do we have? Flower Company, oh, it's spelled funny. Ooh, artisanal crackers, number one. Edible flowers, woody rosemary, fresh dill and chai. These look so pretty if they look anything like what's on the box. Let's see what it says. Um, where does it go? Get ready to make your most beautiful cheese board ever. Your guests will never have seen one as stunning as the one you've adorned with the signature number one crackers from Denver. Hey, we got Colorado in there. Denver, um, based and women owned flower company with vibrant colored edible organic flowers and fresh rosemary, dill and chive baked into each delicate and savory cracker. They are truly almost too pretty to eat. I bet you guys are wishing that you had gotten this box. So they might still have some available, but again, every box from Sunset has been so delightful, like really gourmet items, you guys. I, I don't think you wanna miss out on it, honestly. So it looks like we have two boxes. Okay, mine came a little bit crumbled. I'm not gonna open them up, but you can kinda see, you can see all those florals on the front of them. So there's a few, there's actually, there's probably only like three or four of them that are cracked in that whole container, and there are two sleeves of them. You can see, so they did try to keep everything together. I'm wondering what it says about, this says it's 40 ounces. Um, and then it just says, edible flowers are simple, natural way to elevate the look, taste, and quality of our products. So that's what they were talking about when they said, you know, that they've got all of this fun sort of, um, what they say, botanical items in this box. 
flower company beautiful crackers i'm not entertaining but maybe i will save these for like when i have to bring a cheese board over because that's a nice hostess gift too to bring over like a platter of nice things right right Ooh, these are free okay these are pretty cute but they were just like kind of floating by themselves palm tree and cactus cookie cutters, super cute. Show your Western pride under your dessert buffet this holiday season with these geographically and botanically appropriate Hawaiian coconut palm trees. So that's their Hawaii knot, okay. We'll give it to them. And Arizona native saguaro cookie cutters from Ann Clark, the nation's most prolific cookie cutter manufacturer. I did not know that. Oh look, it's like housing my bouquet. It's like a palm tree bouquet. See, I'll put it against my hair. Can you see it better there? They're so cute. And they're like chunky enough to be a decent sized cookie. So here's my gingerbread palm tree and my sugar saguaro. All right, let's see. We got more. Okay, here is our jigsaw puzzle. And it is indeed, I think it was maybe only one time where it didn't match. I always like the ones that have horses on them. So yes, Sunset is the premier resource for achieving the ultimate Western lifestyle. Formed in 1898, you guys. So here she is again. Let's read about our puzzle. It is shrink wrapped, but they're always uh, 500 pieces, so not too crazy, right? So it says this puzzle featuring the, co the cover of Sunset's December 1923 edition with its rosy cheeked snow toting adventurer, snowshoe toting adventurer, is an early example of our celebration of outdoor recreation in the West. A perfect puzzle to pass the time with family over the holidays. I do think puzzles are a great thing to have over the holidays or games, that kind of thing. I still haven't figured out what the size of the puzzle is once you create it. I feel like it should say on there somewhere. Oh yeah, 18 by 24. So that's actually not too crazy big. So I feel like you could just do that on like one corner of the dining table without getting in anybody's way. So that's kind of nice. Or on the coffee table if you have a big enough coffee table. We've got one more item, I think, and then we'll go over it. But you guys, I'm telling you, like every time when we have the Nobody Awards and we've done it for two years now, I'm always like, you guys are forgetting about Sunset. I know a lot of you don't get it yet, but it is a really good quarterly lifestyle box. And it's always very seasonal. There's always a good mix of like edible, consumable items, as well as like items for your kitchen. Sometimes there's like, you know, in the spring, we'll probably get a lot more gardening items and I don't have a garden. So that one's, what do we think this is? Hmm. Oh, this is a good thing. This is a good thing, you guys. And it, it fits Noelle's um, rules of drinkware which is that we get a set of at least two. This is, I'm excited about this. I honestly have a few of these, but I don't have matching sets. So I'm super stoked on this. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's for one of my favorite beverages, Moscow Mules. Yes, love that. Look at the cool handle on it. So we've got the classic copper. It's the silver color on the inside. Nice, cool, gold angled handle. Love it. And you can cheers because there are two. All right, let me hold this one up close for you. Don't mind the uh, reflection. And we'll read. It says, invented in 1941 at the Cock and Bull restaurant at, on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. I did not know that. Did you all know that? I mean, I'm not a mixologist or anything. I love a Moscow Mule. I did not know that it was invented in L.A. The Moscow Mule is one of the greatest and simplest Western cocktails. It also has its own specialized vessel. That's how elite we are in L.A. Not that I'm from L.A. It says the now iconic hammered copper mug that every craft cocktail fan should have in their barware collection. Simply combine a shot of vodka and ginger ale over ice and toast the holidays. Well, ginger beer. Like, you want to use ginger beer, not ginger ale. Come on now. And then you can get a little fancy. Like if we had some of that hibiscus syrup to go in there. Honestly, a little bit of like mint in a mule is pretty nice too. Like it gets like verges on mojito land then. But like I like a little mint in my mule. I This is, for me, this is huge. I don't know where it's going to fit in my bar. But I'm real excited. I'm going to make some like tonight. I'm going to tell, well, maybe not tonight. I'll have, maybe I'll have tea out of them for fun. But this is this is cool. My husband will be into this too. Let's go over everything that we got in this fantastic box from Sunset. You guys, if you've been sleeping on the Sunset box for a while, I honestly think even at $150 per box, we got a lot of great stuff. And then even if you only got half this stuff for $70, bucks, that is really good. And if you can do the annual, like that's a good deal. And I'm pretty sure it was working before where that 25% off actually worked on the annual subscriptions too. Like that's where you're going to get the big savings. All right, so we got our Moscow Mule mugs. Yay!
Super excited about that. Our palm tree and cactus cookie cutters, super cute. Our Sonoma Company syrup. I'm not sure if everybody got the same peppermint flavor, but that's the flavor that I got. Our dried orange slices, lots of things you can do with that. Our Flower Co. crackers for your beautiful charcuterie board. Our Vintage Sunset Jigsaw Puzzle with the cover from 1923. Our Koyuchi Organic Cotton Napkins. I need to rewrap that one. Our Enlighten Hand Poured Soy Candle that smells lovely. And our, ooh, finishing with a nice sweet treat, our Jacobson Sea Salt Chocolate Caramels. All the things you want. A little chocolate, a lot of caramel, a little sea salt to give it that balance. I'm super stoked about this box. I'm so excited that it came in time for me to use a lot of these items for the holidays. You guys let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item in this box. Have you heard of Sunset Magazine? Have you heard of any of these companies? I would love to hear from you as always. I promise I'll take it easy on my voice and I'll be back with you soon. Hopefully you're joining me for the Adventures with Noelle series and I'll see you in that video in the morning.